What's up guys, Jordan here, and today I'm going to be going over the top 10 Chrome extensions. Now the big web browsing news this summer was that Safari was coming out with extensions, and uh, I was really excited about this along with most people in the tech community. Although in the meantime, while uh, I was waiting for Safari to come out with extensions, Chrome already had extensions, so I started using Chrome more and more, and it actually became my default web browser. And then when Safari finally did come out with extensions, I tried uh, their extensions out, and most of them were like toolbars, and I just really didn't like that because it really cluttered up the browser, and it just looked messy. But uh, Chromes were very neat and tidy. Uh, they came down when you needed them. They had all the information right there without sending you to another site, and then they went right back up uh, when you're done using them. So. I really, really like Chrome's extensions and their approach to extensions. Now what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be dividing this list of top 10 extensions into two top 5. Um, the first top 5 will go over extensions like Twitter and uh, Facebook, kind of the obvious ones that you'd want to have. And you may be saying, well why are you even going to have a list? Uh, of kind of obvious ones that you would obviously get. Well, it's because there's a lot of uh, Facebook and Twitter extensions, but these are the uh, the best one that you need to get. And then the next uh, top five list will be kind of the ones that you necessarily wouldn't be searching for, but uh, nonetheless, they're really great extensions. And uh, before I actually get into these two top five lists, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to add um, and remove and then search for extensions in Chrome. So the first thing you need to do is go to chrome.google.com slash extensions and then up at the top there you can go ahead and search for extensions that you want or you can go down to popular extensions and just select one. And then to install it you just hit install then confirmation window will pop up and you confirm that you want to install it and then it pops up there right above your bookmarks bar. And to use the extension you just hit it and uh, to close it you just hit it one more time. Now to manage your extensions you go to window extensions and then you see a whole list of all your extensions and to disable and uninstall extensions this is where you go. So to disable it you just simply hit disable and then you still have the extension but it's disabled. Now to uninstall it you just hit uninstall and a window will pop up and you confirm that you want to uninstall it. So that's how you add and uninstall extensions in Chrome. Okay, now what I like to call the top five no-brainer Chrome extensions. At number five, we have Sports Illustrated for Google Chrome. And this is probably the best uh, sports extension that you can get for Google Chrome. Uh, you can see the top stories when you first open up the extension. And then you can go under a uh, specific sport, um, see the latest scores and games that are going on. Then you can drill down into specific games. And you can see... Uh, different uh, stats and actually player stats as well so a uh, really great sports app for checking scores when you're browsing the web now at number four we have Flickster movies and this is a great extension uh, you can check out popular movies coming soon uh, and movies that are on DVD and you can actually watch the trailers for these movies um, right within the extension so it pops up that little window there you can go ahead and play the video and um, if you want to see uh, something like show times or reviews uh, you just click on the link and uh, it actually will take you to Flickr's website but still really a uh, great extension now at number three we have one click weather for Chrome and this is a weather extension from weather.com and it shows you the weather map of whatever location you've set up and uh, you can see the forecast for tonight tomorrow and uh, you can click on a link and it'll send you to weather.com's website for a full detailed forecast now at number two we have facebook for google chrome and this is the best facebook extension that i found um, you can see your inbox as well as notifications um, you can actually see your own wall so that's pretty cool and your whole news feed and up at the top there you can uh, even uh, post status updates so um, it was a little while ago when I recorded this uh, but it did actually snow the day after Christmas but uh, now for number one 
of the no-brainer Chrome extensions. It's Chromed Bird, and this is a Twitter extension, and this is a really nice one. Uh, you can see your whole uh, home of Twitter there, your unified view for at replies and your regular tweets. Then you can see just your at replies, your direct messages, favorites. You can go ahead and search for a uh, topic on Twitter, and you can actually post on Twitter as well. So I'm going to send out a little tweet here. I am tweeting this while recording a video. And then you can go ahead and hit uh, tweet it, and it'll send it out. So I use this a lot to send out a lot of different tweets uh, to you guys. So those are the top five no-brainer extensions. Now the top five Chrome extensions that you wouldn't necessarily think of. Uh, at number five is Auto Reload, and this is a really simple extension, but a really cool one. Um, it automatically reloads the page for you. Just hit that button up at the top, and then it automatically will reload. And this is helpful if there's something on the page that, uh, like some comments or something, that doesn't automatically have an automatic reload feature. You can set it to automatically reload. And when you hit it again, uh, any new tab that you open up here will automatically be set to auto reload and uh, you can customize it just by right clicking then going down to options and there's lots of different options or a fair amount uh, you can choose how after how many seconds does it automatically reload and then you can set a time range that it will uh, automatically reload the page but uh, once you're all done modifying the settings you just apply and then it's all good to go so that's auto reload now at uh, number four is are you watching this sports now we already had a sports extension but this is really different um this tells you what games are hot and what games are not so there's tons of sports games out there for you to possibly watch but this tells you which games are the best for you to watch right now so they show you which games are good okay hot and then like extremely hot so if it's a really close game uh it'll say that it's hot um so you can see a couple games uh finished in overtime there those were definitely great games check out they also have news and uh you can also see your tv listings if you put in your post postal code down there so a really cool um kind of really different sports extension um i never actually heard of it before this but definitely check that one out um now at number three is google mail checker plus and this one has a nice little notification that pops up whenever you get a new message there so you can see uh, who it's from the subject and the first few lines of the message and then you just click out of it and it'll automatically go away after a little bit but then when you click on the extension there it pops down with uh, your messages that are new so you have different functions there like read delete put in spam archive and then you can also click right there to send you to your gmail now at number two is a uh, bit.ly or bit.ly a simple url shortener and uh with how much how popular twitter is these days it's great to have a url shortener um when you hit the extension it automatically gives you the url and the title of the video so that's great you can just hit copy link and then you can go over to your uh, chrome bird your twitter extension and go ahead and paste it in and compose a tweet so really great um now the number one extension that you really wouldn't think of is turn off the lights so we have a youtube page that we have opened up here and as you can see automatically everything around the video dims so that's really cool kind of get it like a hulu feature there and then down below you can adjust how dark you want the surrounding video or how light and to get rid of it you just click outside of the video and if you want to re uh turn off the lights again uh, you just hit it up there at the top and so that's all and uh, here's some other extensions that you definitely should check out on um, the bottom three are kind of basic ones uh, what their function is and invisible hand what that is is if you're on a shopping page like some on Amazon it'll pop up at the top if that's the cheapest price or uh, where you can find it cheaper and by what percentage if it's cheaper um, so that's a really cool extension as well. So uh, that's all for this video. Be sure to leave a comment down below. What's your favorite uh, extension? And also uh, check me out on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, those links will be down below as well. And thanks for checking out this video. And I hope to see you in the next video real, real soon. Thanks for watching.